Good day everybody. In this video I would like to talk about soil collapsibility and see how we can estimate it in the field and also we'll do some practical example here at the bottom of the slide. Let's first look at the soil. What kind of soil it can be? The one that will collapse. So I'm not sure if you heard this term aeolian soil. So this is the soil this originated by wind, so wind deposits. And uh, this soil is actually uh, uh, very strong when it's dry, so it should be dry. That's why you uh, typically find it in uh, arid regions when it's very dry. And uh, when you add a little bit of water, not really much, you will see that the soil will uh, collapse or it will settle, right? So what type of soil is mostly sealed? I don't think it's clay is usually going to be sealed or a variation of sealed uh, loess. So this is very good example that uh, you can see in a country like uh, China. Um, there is also plenty of this type of soil in Western Australia. Uh, you will see that uh, the color is kind of a yellow color and the landscape, uh, if you look carefully here, you'll see steps here, steps here. So this is the result of uh, collapsibility. So this soil has collapsed uh, multiple times developing this very interesting landscape. Okay, so uh, let's say that you work in the area where uh, you may face uh, this type of soil and you would like to know if this soil is uh, collapsible or not. So there are a few indicators that you can use uh, for your estimations and these indicators uh, we took from this um, uh, design reports uh, by U.S. Army Corps and engineers. Uh, you can find it on the internet if you'd like to read more about this. And there are four factors that we need to consider. Uh, these factors are the properties of soil. The first, it's liquid limit. It should be less than 45%. Plasticity index, uh, less than 25%. The soil should be relatively loose. That's why you, you see the dry unit weight is not very high. It ranges from 10 to 17. And the soil should be also porous. So the value of porosity is relatively high from 40 to 60%. So if you look at the microstructure of this soil, uh, you will see because it's very porous, there is lots of porous space inside. And what happens when this uh, soil becomes just a little bit saturated with water, this water will uh, destroy the bonding uh, between this uh, silt uh, and some clay particles. And then it will destroy this microstructure and because it's porous, the structure will collapse and it will settle. So uh, another thing that we can use for our estimations is these two formulas. Um, they came from this uh, study by Gibbs and Barra. It's a relatively uh, old study, 1962, but we can still use these correlations, uh, either one for dry unit weight or for void ratio to estimate uh, the collapsibility of uh, soil. So, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to practice a little bit. We're going to use all of these three criteria. And let's look at the example when we have loose dry sealed and has liquid limit and plastic limits um, uh, of uh, these values. Uh, dry density, it's not uh, very high, 1.1 grams per cubic centimeters. And we are given void ratio of 1.2. So, uh, let's start probably with uh, this uh, criteria first when we have already a void ratio and we have liquid limit. So what I can do right now, I just put the numbers here, uh, void ratio 1.2, it should be uh, greater than 2.6 times liquid limit, which is uh, 45, we use percentage here and divided by 100. So this part uh, will give you 1.064. So we have 1.2, which is greater than 1.064. Well, this means that uh, soil has the capacity to collapse. Okay, now let's look at uh, this, maybe this one, right? So this formula. 
you will see that here we have uh, dry unit weight but we are given dry density um, if you don't know how to convert dry density to the unit weight I will show you right now but you can also watch one of my videos about uh, uh, soil constituents so the uh, conversion is uh, like this uh, we're going to have uh, unit weights is equal density times uh, g which is gravitational acceleration equal 9.81 so i'm gonna put numbers here 1.1 that's the density dry density times 9.81 and that will give us value of 10 times 8 kilonewtons per cubic meters. Uh, if you have any questions about the units, why we have uh, grams per cubic centimeters and how they change to kilonewtons per cubic meters, please watch my other video about soil constituents. There is explanation there. Okay, now we're going to put the numbers uh, in that first formula. So we're going to have uh, 10.8 as our dry unit weight, and it should be less than 25.5 uh, uh, divided by 1 plus 0 0.026 times liquid limit. And again, it's in percentage, it will be 45. According to my calculation, so this part will give you a number of 12.5. Uh, so we compared 10.8, it's less than 12.5. And again, yes, according to this formula, the soil um, has um, the tendency to collapse when it becomes uh, slightly saturated. And uh, now let's just look at these indications, uh, these factors. So that's going to be probably the easiest one. We don't need to do any calculations. Wait a minute. So we need to actually change it to porosity. We don't have porosity. Okay. So we're going to change to porosity. Uh, if you know void ratio, it's pretty easy. Uh, this is the formula for porosity uh, n, which is porosity is equal void ratio divided by 1 plus void ratio. So if we put number 1.2 divided by 1 plus 1.2, we're going to get a value of uh, 0 0.55. And we can change it to a percentage just by multiplying 100. That will give us about 55% of porosity. Okay, so now let's see what we have. We have liquid limits uh, 40 and it is less than 45 right so yes i'm gonna put here plus plasticity index below 25 and we're given plastic limit 26 right so this is common mistake guys i make sure that you change to plasticity index not plastic limit so plasticity index it's uh, liquid limit minus uh, plastic limit which is uh, 40 minus 26 will give us 14 percent right and it says it should be less than 25 percent here right we have 14 plus again dry unit weight um, dry unit weight is 10.8 so it is in the range plus right so also meets this uh, criteria and porosity should be between 40 and 60 percent the porosity of this soil it's 55 percent so yes it's in the range so we have four pluses this means that this soil uh, meets the criteria for collapsibility and most likely when it becomes um, um, slightly saturated with water uh, most likely it will collapse thanks for watching this video have a nice day bye